Well, hello. Today is Monday, October 25th, and we do have birthdays today. We've got a lot of birthdays today. It's kind of making up for the days we don't have birthdays. Today is Angela over at Angela My Life. I don't think she puts videos up anymore, but hopefully she's still watching. Today's Angela's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Angela. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Charlene Bordelone, B-O-R-D-E-L-O-N, Bordelone. Charlene, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Charlene. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Sherry's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sherry. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. And last but not least, it's Melissa Collins' birthday. Melissa! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Melissa. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope all of you have a great birthday or ha had a great birthday by the time you watch this. Um, I had a pretty... Busy day today, so, um, but I woke up this morning with a new focus. Am I focusing on my goals? I'm focusing on just doing my very best and realizing that, you know, sometimes I'm going to mess up a little bit like I did last night because um, I found a box of good and plenties <laughs> in the drawer that I forgot that I had, and uh, and it wasn't a single serving size box of good and plenties, and I, there's things with good and plenties, if you, um I don't know if they're all over the world. Good and Plenty's are like a little candy-shelled piece of black licorice. But they're delicious. They really are really good. But um, I had started eating them. It wasn't a full. It was like one of those two-and-a-half servings, two-and-a-half servings kind of boxes. And it was not a whole two-and-a-half servings left in the box because I had eaten it before, and then I had put it away so I would have it out of sight, out of mind. And uh, so the box had already been opened. But uh, there was still more than a full serving in there. And I ate every bit of it. Loving every minute of it. <laughs> and I just thought, oh, I don't need this. I shouldn't have done that. Because I started off the day so really well. And, I, you know, I had a perfectly good day on plan. And so, like, just that one box of Good and Plenty's was not enough to throw me off my focus of what my ultimate goal is. My ultimate goal is to reach my goal. <laughs> and so... Uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to mess up along the way. I know that. That's who I am. But, you know, I, I I pride myself on the fact that I can get right back on track. So I got back on track today, and I, I decided that I was only going to eat two meals. And so the breakfast, which I'm going to show you, is a little heavy in the points. But here, let me show you what I had. For breakfast, we're going to have some bacon and eggs and grapefruit and um, bagel. Today is Monday, October 25th. My quote is, be gentle with yourself. You are doing the best that you can. For breakfast, I'm having an egg, banana, grapefruit, and tea for zero points. Three points for my bacon. Four points for my half of a lender's everything but the bagel. And three points for a tablespoon of chip peanut butter. It's a 10-point breakfast. i um, going to only eat two meals today. That's why it's kind of a high-point breakfast. Yeah, a little heavy on the points. Ten points for breakfast, I think. Well, you know, most of my breakfasts, I think, are really right around that. Up. But um, uh, I only ate the two meals today, and uh, and I stayed well within my points. I was actually under my points, and it wasn't because I was aiming to be under my points. It just kind of worked out that way. Uh, I ate my breakfast about 1 o'clock. My washing machine, my new washing machine came. I mean, it's... It's uh, it's I got to get used to it I guess it's a little bit bigger than my other one I don't like the glass lid yeah. here let me show it to you okay there's the new washer and the dryer I got a box full of books and a bag full of books <laughs> got books everywhere but this is the old dryer this is the washer this is what I don't like I don't like the glass lid. And then you got to pull this out and put your detergent in. And then you put your bleach in over here. And then it's all... It's all, what do you call it, um, electronic here. You know, yeah, it's just... 
it's pay no attention to the mess over there. <laughs> um, now, to get an actual white lid was going to cost another $150 more, so I got to put up with this. But it's a pretty deep tub. I don't know if you can see, but anyway, that is my new washing machine. Like I said, it's, I got to get used to it. I would have liked to have preferred, every time I walk by it now when I'm going through the laundry room or something, I always think that I have the lid up. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, and then I gotta look at it and go, oh no, it's not, the lid's down. It's just where you can see the, the laundry. And uh, it doesn't go right into its cycle right away. And it takes longer because it uses less water and less soap. Um, I want to be back in the, the early 2000s, I guess, when things were so much simpler. Everything was so much simpler because my uh, nephew came over to visit tonight. to Well, actually, to talk to Jim about guns. And uh, the uh, he said, I kept ringing the doorbell, but nobody was coming. My doorbell's not ringing, not working. I have a ring doorbell. Electronics, once again, my lights come on and off. Electronics, it, my thermostat, remote. It's just, everything is too complicated nowadays. Just don't like it. I really don't. So I tried to fix the doorbell. Gave up on it. I'm thinking this is a daytime when I first get up in the morning, not late at night, where I'm going to get frustrated trying to figure it out. So I just finally figured out my Wemo, which was the turning on my lights off and on. It's... It's, it's exasperating. It really is. But they always say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And I, I just, I'm tired of being the old dog that don't want to learn new tricks. I want to learn some new tricks. I want to learn how to do this stuff. I mean, I pride myself on the fact that I, I'm learning how to put clips together from different, from uh, Jimmy and they, um, Jim have an Android phone and they've sent me stuff and I've finally learned how, and I've, I've eliminated a couple steps. I told you I would figure it out. I have eliminated a couple steps, and so uh, Jimmy sent me some video over today, and we put together a video that's going to go up on Friday um, about how his house is going to be, and it says we're let's build a house part two. So um, that's going to come up on Friday, so you can see his progress. He's making some pretty good progress on the house, but um, I accomplished that over the weekend. So I'm thinking, eh, put one in my corner. I, you know, I, I'm just. I'm just so focused on success, and so I just can't see failure in my future. I just can't. And so whether I'm going to try it, oh, I am going to try it again tomorrow to get my doorbell working. But uh, I, um, I, I'm so much not focusing on the failures that I've been doing in my life, and more so now I'm focusing on the successes that I've achieved, the successes that I am going to achieve. And uh, I am going to succeed tomorrow and get uh, all my electronics out on the right path and getting they're all going to be working and um and i just know that um i have to focus on the positive and focus on the fact that i can do it and, and i will do it and i know i can do it so um it's so easy it's so easy for me because i am i'm looking down at my desk it needs to be straightened it, my desk is a mess as you could see my laundry tub needed to be um cleaned up a little bit in my defense, I get it all straight, and then Jim comes through, and he puts stuff in there, and he doesn't put it right, and it, uh, and then I get aggravated, and I leave it. I've shown you his dresser. It's like, his mother would be rolling over in her grave. She would be rolling over in her grave. Her His mother was so organized, always organized, and uh, Jim is neat, but he's not organized. <laughs> And, so, and the, well, I should take that back. And the things that he wants to be organized in, he's very organized. But the things that he doesn't really care about, eh, he's not that organized. So um, anyway, so then Jimmy came over this afternoon and we did the Ask Us Anything, which went almost 40 minutes. So we cut that into two parts. And so we'll show part one on Wednesday, part two on Tuesday. Uh, we did our tag, which is going to go up tomorrow. Um I'm doing my video now. I had my breakfast, which I showed you. Um, and I'll show you my dinner right here now. Okay, for dinner, we're going to have some chicken squash, cottage cheese, pineapple, and some iced tea. This is the barbecue sauce that I'm using. It is a five-point dinner. Two points for my chicken because of the marinade I use on it. Three points for my cottage cheese and zero for the squash, pineapple, and tea. And also for the barbecue sauce. So it's a five-point dinner. 
I ended up the day with 15 points. See, I told you, five-point dinner. I mean, it was, and the only reason it's five points is because when I make my chicken, when I, I take my chicken and I put a little bit of um, garlic salt on it and a little bit of the everything but the seasoning, yeah, everything but the bagel, oh, everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, and then I put just a little, maybe a, maybe a tablespoon, If I don't even think it's a whole tablespoon, of some breadcrumbs on top of that. And a tablespoon of um, Italian dressing. I put that over the top of it. And then I bake it for about 45 minutes covered. And then for the last 15 minutes, I take the cover off so it can get a little brown. But um, uh, so that's why I count my chicken for two points. Uh, I know the chickens on the blue plant is zero points. But like I, I always, and a lot of people don't count the seasonings. But I kind of do because I want to really be kind of true to my points. And the squash was the other half of the butternut squash that I had yesterday. It was delicious. Um, and then like cottage cheese and pineapple. The, really my, the brunt of my points was really the cottage cheese and the, the seasoning on the uh, chicken. But um, I did have, I didn't show you, but I did have a sugar-free jello, a lime jello for dessert. So I'm really, I'm really happy that I stayed on plan. Um, and I, I think the whole trick of it is just staying busy. And then I haven't been able to do laundry for, I usually do laundry every third day because it's just Jim and I. So um, I just usually do it every three days. And so I haven't done it in um, almost 10. <laughs> so uh, we had quite a bit of laundry to do. Not we, the royal we. I had a lot of laundry to do today. So I got all my laundry done. And then it just made me realize that we have so many clothes that I didn't even notice that I had been so long <laughs> since I did laundry. So that's a good thing. That's a bad thing. It's just, I don't know. But um, I guess that's it. So okay, I had a good day on plan. Yesterday, not so much, but today I was. And I was so proud of myself because I, thankfully I turned down the bagels and the donuts and all the other stuff at the uh, um, memorial service yesterday. Because can you only imagine? having the donuts and then going home and having a big box of Good and Plenty's. Ooh, I wouldn't have done. And I know the Good and Plenty's isn't going to add like two or three pounds on me. I'm not worried about that. I was just more concerned that I wasn't going to get back on track today. And uh, so I had decided early on that I was only going to eat two meals. And so I was going to have a really hefty breakfast to hold me over till dinner, knowing that I would be pretty busy during the day. And it worked out for me. So, but that's going to do it for now. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think there might be somebody that might like it. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow.